Okay, buddies, the last thing we're going to do this morning is I'm going to share with you from um, our Lent devotion calendar. March 25th story is Heaven Breaks Through from our Jesus Storybook Bible. And I'm sure some of you are doing this at home with your parents, so you may have already read the story together. But I thought it would be fun, especially for me, to get to um, walk through the rest of our Lent devotion together and read these stories together. You can also continue to illustrate in your Lent books. On Sunday, Mrs. Hayes and I delivered those to your houses. And so if you have paper at home, you can continue to illustrate the book and the stories that we're listening to together. So, and if you guys have some good ideas of things that you might wanna put in your picture that you would wanna share with your friends, your mommies can always um, email me a picture of the drawing that you made, or you could call me and tell me what you decided to do. And I can share that with everybody because you guys always have such good ideas for each other. And you're really growing in your ability to really think creatively and come up with really sweet and meaningful ideas that are connecting, making connections for you with the Bible stories that we're reading. So I'm super excited to continue to do this with you. And our story is Heaven Breaks Through. It says about the same time Jesus was born, another baby was born and his name was John. God had a special job for him. John was going to get everyone ready for Jesus. The day John was born, his dad knew God's promise to Abraham was coming true. God was sending the rescuer and he was so happy he sang a song. Because God loves us with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love, heaven is breaking through. He is sending us a light from heaven to shine on us like the sun, to shine on those who live in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. So John grew up and well, to tell you the truth, he was a bit unusual. He lived in the desert. He wore itchy, scratchy outfits made of camel hair. He had a big, big, bushy beard and long, scraggly hair. And here is the oddest thing of all. He only ate locusts, short for big, creepy, crunchy grasshoppers, which he dipped in honey to disguise the taste, probably. Blech. But God sent John to tell his people something important. Stop running away from God and run to him instead, John said. You need to be rescued. Make your hearts ready for him. Yes, get ready because your king is coming back for you. Great crowds listened to John and they were sorry they had sinned and they wanted to stop running away from God. They wanted to be rescued. So John baptized them, which means he plunged them in and out of the water. It showed that they wanted to follow God and begin a new life. One day, John was baptizing people in the Jordan River as usual when he looked up and he saw a man walking to the water's edge. God spoke quietly to John. This is the one. John's heart leapt. This was the moment he'd been waiting for all his life. Look, John said, as Jesus came down into the water. But his voice came out as a whisper. He couldn't make it any louder. It was all he could do to even speak. The Lamb of God, God's best Lamb, who takes away the sins of the whole world. Will you baptize me too? Jesus asked. Who am I, John asked, to baptize you? It's what God wants me to do, Jesus said. So John baptized Jesus. Suddenly, it was as if someone had drawn back curtains in a dark room, as if heaven itself had opened because a beautiful light broke through the clouds and shone down onto Jesus, bathing him in gold. Beads of water glittered and sparkled like tiny diamonds in his hair. And a whole voice came down from heaven. It was clear and strong and loud so everyone could hear. This is my own son, and I love him, and I am very pleased with him. God said, listen to him. Heaven had broken through. The great rescue had begun. 
some things that I thought you could probably draw on your pictures as I was reading the story. You could draw John the Baptist, this funny guy with this big beard and his scratchy clothes. You could draw the bugs that he ate and dipped in the honey. You could draw uh, the, the lake that he was baptizing people in, the water there. You could draw some of the people if you wanted. You could also draw a picture of Jesus there with him um, in the water. And also, this is a pretty picture of the skies opening up. You don't even have to put a person in it. You could just put the beautiful water and the skies opening up and the sunshine coming down and shining light there um, as heaven breaking through the clouds and coming down to earth. I'm so excited to be with you guys and to get to um, share this time together. I'm going to keep sending you videos and show your mommies and daddies um, in an email where they can get the videos and where you can watch them. And I really, really, really would love to have your help if you guys want to keep, um, if you guys want to make videos and then I can share them with your friends and we can all do class together. So I'm super excited and I'll get to touch base with you every single day. And I want you to remember that I love you very much and I'm praying for you and your mommies and daddies and your brothers and sisters and your families. And I together. And we'll do some story times together. Tomorrow, on Wednesdays, we usually do music with Mrs. Fields. So I'm going to attach a couple of our favorite songs that we sing um, at school together, our Lord's Prayer song and some other songs that we sing. And maybe you could share those with your family. And maybe you could spend some time singing or watching the videos of um, Ellie Holcomb is the lady that sings those songs. And I thought I would send you her videos and you could sing along with her and um, just worship together. And we'll just keep touching base every single day and just praying that we get to be back together at school by the end of the year so we can do fun things and stay connected. And I want to keep building memories with you and adding them to your special memory books that we're working on. And we're going to figure out a really cool, creative ways to do that together, even though we can't always be together in person. So I love you very much. If you want to talk to me or Mrs. Hayes, who really wants to see your faces, you can call us and you can FaceTime us. And we would love to talk and spend time with you and share funny things and stories that you have to tell us about your spring breaks and plans that you have or cool things you've done at home. And I'll keep sending you guys pictures of each other and videos of each other. And we'll all stay connected and together. And um, it'll just be the highlight of my day. I promise you. So I'm super excited and looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow and we'll get back together and do it again.